Um, if you drove by and saw a herd of zebras uh, running around in Banff National Park, you would think that was very bizarre. Aquatic ecosystems in Banff are one of the most impaired uh, systems in Banff National Park. We've put a lot of effort and a lot of focus on our terrestrial ecosystems, but one of the things we're still struggling with is, is the presence of these non-native fish. Many years ago, in early in Banff's history, there was actually a fish hatchery here in Banff, and at that time, uh, the thinking was it was a, a good idea to enhance visitor experience by stocking many of the high alpine lakes and, and rivers with fish. Unfortunately, back in those days, we didn't understand the, the effects of non-native species on natural ecosystems. Rainbow trout and brook trout, that were largely stocked, aren't native to this area, and so they have a whole a domino effect on, the, on a healthy ecosystem. And then uh, we've been going around systematically and prioritizing areas where we uh, need to remove non-native fish where they're compromising uh, pure fish, which in this case is West Slope cutthroat trout. So West Slope cutthroat trout are a, a native trout species. They're actually threatened in Canada. There's only 10 uh, places left in Banff National Park where you can find West Slope cutthroat trout in their native waters where they're still genetically pure. What happens is the rainbow trout that we're putting on top of these fish, they both are spring spawners and they're very closely related and you end up with a hybridized fish that doesn't have all the same genetic attributes and behavioral attributes of a pure West Slope cutthroat. And so we need to go in and remove those non-native rainbows so we can restore pure West Slope cutthroat. And that was what the, the Rainbow Lake and the Upper Cascade project was all about. We had a very uh, healthy lake called Sawback Lake that has West Slope cutthroat trout in it. And right next to it, above it, was a, a lake that was originally barren. And years ago, people had put rainbow trout into that lake. And so they were filtering down the stream and potentially affecting the genetic integrity in Sawback. And so we had a three, four year project to go in and remove all those non-native rainbow trout. And then we actually went in and we were able to electrofish the stream below. And we marked each fish in the stream we were able to take a little clip, test the DNA in those fish, and then we came back the next two summers and recaptured and removed the hybrids. So it's very hard to tell a hybrid fish from a, from a pure fish just looking at them. You have to do genetic work to understand that. And so between restoring the lake and restoring the stream, we've actually been able to secure Sawback Lake uh, for future generations as a pure population of West Slope cutthroat. And that lake is now feeding pure cutthroat down into the entire Upper Cascade drainage.